So yesterday, I saw my favorite artist, Joji. <laughs> So I've been following Joji for so many years and if you don't know who he is, he's a singer but he was also an entertainer. He used to have a YouTube channel where he made comedy videos. He was actually the person to create the Harlem Shake and I saw him yesterday and it's really surreal. This is like one of my dreams and it finally came true. It was really really weird seeing so many people with merch from him because I've never seen that in real life. The first thing I did was go by the merch stand and get this shirt right here and my view was okay. I could see the artist quite clearly. London was good! There were three people opening with very, very good songs. My favorite was from Ray Brown, and the song is called Do You Like That? <laughs> But then it was finally time and I knew how he was gonna arrive because I had seen videos from other shows. But even then, I was in shock. The guy that I've been watching and watching and listening to for so many years, he was finally there and I could see him in real life. And my favorite song from his is Sanctuary and he began the show with that song. <laughs> both very good singing wise and very entertaining as well. Something not many people do in a concert. At one point, he brought onto the stage five Jack Sparrow impersonators to see who was the best one. We found five Jack Sparrows from London. You guys are gonna tell us who the best Jack Sparrow is. I had lots of lines ready, but there was a free bar backstage and I'm really drunk, so. Who'd like to see Joji dressed as Jack? And then he went back to singing. <laughs> But then in the middle, there was a 15 minute DJ set, which was the coolest thing ever. It was out of nowhere, but it was so cool. Then more singing. And then he started playing blackjack. I think honestly, it's a very good way to both entertain the public and to take a rest from singing. I don't think any other concert will ever be able to top what I went through last night. Amazing. This is another dream come true. When no leaving, please follow the directional signs. Are both the exit tents. I'm talking to you. If you're ordering a taxi, please <laughs> order it at the point. <laughs> oh, I have no words. It was amazing. That's it. Another dream come true. Is that the end of the story? <laughs> No, son. There was also an after party. What it basically was, it was another DJ set. And I'm so glad that I went there because I could see him very, very close. He was like a few meters away from me and I could see him bopping his head. It was crazy. It's unbelievable that I was able to be in the same room and not very far from him. The whole thing, the concert and the after party, it was such a great experience. It really was probably one of the best times I've ever had and I will never forget it. Thank you, Joji. Yo, London, thank y'all very much.